Guys, for this video, I wanted to show you a cool trick you could do with safety matches. Now, safety matches are different than strike anywhere matches because you cannot strike these anywhere. They have to be struck on the red strip on the side of the box in order for them to light off. Whereas with strike anywhere matches, you can basically strike them on any rough surface and they'll ignite. So what happens if you have lots of matches left over, but your red striker strip powder is gone from previous experiments, or maybe it gets wet, saturated, or ripped off of the box? It's not gonna work at all, it's just all gummy. Oh no. There is still a way you can light these matches, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Now even though these are not strike anywhere matches, if you find a surface that's rough and long enough, you might be able to build up enough friction to get them to light off, like this. That's about as easy as it gets. Now the key to making this work is putting your finger right under the head of the match, then pressing it to the surface and dragging it in a nice long stroke. If you do short strokes, there's not going to be enough friction for this to light off. But if you can drag it 8 to 10 inches, you can see it'll light off no problem. This works because the friction between the match head and the wood is enough to ignite the potassium chloride. Just make sure you get your finger out of the way of the flame before it burns you. The reason this works is because this wood is very dry, it's very rough, and there's a long enough striking surface for the friction to build up to where it can ignite. Now that may not always be the case. If your wood was damp, or if you had a surface that was too smooth, it wouldn't work the same. So you can see this stick is moist, I actually dropped it in the river, and matches will not light on it. But if we take a stick and rub it back and forth as if we were trying to start a fire by rubbing sticks together, the friction will actually drive out the moisture, and this will become a very good striking surface. I don't actually want to start a fire by rubbing sticks, but it is a very similar concept. By rubbing the two sticks together, we've actually generated quite a bit of heat, which has charred the wood. That means it's driven the moisture off, and this is very warm right now. Now that should be dry enough. We take a match, boom, and it lights. I can light it off in less than an inch. Big difference. Okay, so it's been about five minutes since we rubbed the sticks together, and this has already cooled down quite a bit, but surprisingly, it still works really, really well. The side of a matchbox is red phosphorus, and when you strike potassium chlorate, it generates a chemical reaction. What we're doing here is we're actually building enough friction to auto-ignite the potassium chlorate itself. So you can see, even if you find a moist piece of wood, you can very easily drive off the moisture and strike your matches. How cool is that? This almost works as well as the red striker strip paper does by itself. So there you have it guys, using a few random sticks you can find on a nature hike, you can now turn safety matches into strike anywhere. Thanks so much for joining me for this video and I'll be looking for you in the next video. Talk to you then.